Hello and welcome to Transform Tuesday. I'm Dave McCormick, VP of Products and Services here at Alpha Software, and I'm pleased to be joined today by Sarah Mitchell, who's in charge of our documentation department. Today is uh, probably going to be a very short session, I'm uh, just going to say, but it's uh, a cool one because we're beginning to work on a couple new features in Alpha Transform, and I wanted to show one of them off and probably tell you about the other one. So. Well, let's get started. Uh, before I do, though, Sarah, can you let me know whether or not my, uh, I don't think my screen is being shared yet. It is not. No one can see it your screen. It is not. Thank you. Well, let me go ahead and make sure that that's working. And you can hear me. Obviously, you wouldn't have answered, so I guess that part's yep, working. Yep. Fantastic. All right, so let's scroll down here. So for some of you who have done, oh, old, old, old stuff. Here we go. For some of you uh, who've been with us for a while, actually quite a few of us on the call have been with us for a while for the Transform, you've you've gone through some of the Transform betas and stuff. And so from time to time on our beta account, we boot, do put up a newer version of Transform that we test out and stuff before, before we make it live into production. And I've been playing around with one of the features now, which I think is pretty cool. For those of you who have accounts on the beta site, that's gonna be a lot of you because we bring we do bring our um uh we do make a copy of the official transform database and bring that over to beta so that would include logins and things like that. So you might be able to use this, you might not. Let me show you what we're looking at here. Um the first is this would be the transform central if you wanted to take a look at the beta. I know you're probably saying, why do I want to see the beta? Show me the feature first. Well, I'm gonna show you that. <laughs> I'm gonna do it in the wrong order, I guess. So I'm gonna paste that into the window. And the other thing is this, I might be able to, uh, I don't know if I can paste a picture. Let me see if I can. Um, this is the QR code and you will use that in the form filler because um, there are always two, oh, I can't paste it there. You'll just have to take a, maybe take a screen capture of that later on so you can use it with your phone. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with the procedure of using a beta, uh, let me see if I can share my screen. That might be the easiest way to do that. Oh, yeah, I can, great. What you do is, oh, we're already in Transform, which is great. What you do first is you log out of Transform, the Transform filler. And then if you're using, um, so there's a beta server and then there's the beta for the app itself. We're just interested in the beta server right now because right now nothing here on the phone is actually changed. It's just the back end that we're gonna be trying out. So to switch servers, what we do is we go up here to this little hamburger menu area. I'm going to tap it right now with my finger. And I go over to set server, okay? And then all I do is I would tap that scan button and I'd have it um, point to that area right there. I'm not going to do it because I'm already where I should be. So I'm just going to log in using my password that you can probably see, but that's okay. All right. In fact, let me just move this out of the way, close that. And I'm gonna grab this URL, the one I've pasted in the chat window, and we're gonna go over here into, and I paste it up here into a browser. And even though this looks like the same Transform Central you're used to, it's actually a slightly different version. So what's changed? Well, the big thing that's changed is the ability to do form output. So many of you are familiar with this form here. It's the general sample form. And the general sample form is a general sample because it asks you lots of different types of questions. And it's good to be used as an example, uh, either when you're learning Transform or to test out various features. Now, once this is filled in, you're probably familiar maybe with the exercise in which after you fill in the data, you go to Transform Central, you go into the Management Console and you choose a particular form. And this is what the Management Console currently shows you. It shows you all of the information that I basically entered into the form and it shows it to you in this this export format which is basically all text um, and there's another somewhat a view that's somewhat like that that you can get to in the management console when you're right when you're not in export but in the regular section let me show you that one and that was uh, here but let me let's go into management console I'm going to show you what what has changed because this is what's this is what's cool this is what I've wasted the first four and a half minutes building up to, but uh, let me show it to you here. So now when you click on a particular form, this is the data that's been captured, you'll notice now instead of that boring text format, it now uses the styling that you used 
when you created your form. So it gives a much cleaner appearance. Some of this is still in progress that we're still working on it, so it's not just out yet. But as you can see, it's a much easier, much easier thing to read. And if you go into, you could still edit fields here. And when you edit fields, it, it goes back into that old style like we used to show it last time. But in form view, uh, for viewing, you can see it that way. And if you export it, there's now another export format called form. So this was basic. This is the one that you get today. But this one called form, which will be released shortly, again, respects all of your uh, formatting. And one other thing, this isn't working, but I see it's working in an alpha version that we're about to push live to this beta site is if you download it as a PDF, it actually paginates it properly. Let me show you uh, what I mean by that. Click that button, let me just open that PDF. And what it will do, oh, I'm not open, is it'll just, it'll help, it'll create a nice uh, PDF file format for you and it will split the fields as necessary. Right now, the one bug that you will encounter, you might not see it in this one, uh, is that it can end up splitting pictures across pages. That one's fine. Let's see if I've, I've got one down here, I think, that had the problem. Yeah, right here where it split the, the photo. We've actually fixed that, so that'll be, that'll be in the next release. But if you want to play around with this feature, I strongly encourage you to. Now, the last thing I want to talk about today is back in the management console, we're going to be making some changes also quite soon so that you can see multiple uh, forms uh, so forms of different types you'll be able to search for right here. So if you want to say, for example, show me, uh, imagine you had four or five different forms for different reasons, but they all had an address field on it, or they all had a customer name field on it. You could say, show me all of the forms for this particular customer, and regardless of their type, they would appear, appear here. Uh, so it's just a new way of being able to sort, and we'll have, uh, and right now you have basically no real sorting searching capabilities here. We, we require that you mostly export it or use it in a different system. So that feature is coming soon. So that's it. That was, like I said, it was a short session today, but if we have any questions, you can go ahead and type them into the questions box of the GoToWebinar control panel. Ah, how long until this new beta version is available? And I assume you mean as a proper release. Um, hopefully, I. I would hope in the next week or two, since we're trying to keep the the cycle times short. In other words, add in one feature, test it, and then release it. So I hope this will be out uh, quite shortly, but but you can use the beta today. Uh, but as far as, uh, and the, the beta will be updated probably today, tomorrow, over the next few days. We will send you an email though, um, before it becomes official, as we always do, because we wanna make sure that you get a chance to try out the beta uh, during that period so that when we when we move to the production environment, there are no surprises for you. So we'll send you out an email uh, shortly on that, maybe as soon as next week. Are there any other questions? Nope, that looks like it. Hey, thank you everyone for joining me. Thank you, Sarah, for being here. If you do have questions or need some help, send an email to tfservice at alphasoftware.com. Take care, have a great week, and stay safe. Bye-bye.